how to verify Facebook business manager account good day folks and welcome to the channel today I'm going to show you quickly and easily how you can verify your Facebook business manager account and there are a few steps but we're gonna go through it and we're gonna get it done so without further ado let us go over to the left hand side and you'll see the meta business suit or if you go over to the right hand side you will see that there is a menu and if you scroll down all the way to the bottom you will see the meta business suit so you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up that page on the left hand side you're going to see a toolbar and we're going to go on and look for settings right at the bottom and we're going to tap on that right so from this settings page over here there is an additional toolbar or menu on the left hand side and you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to have a look for a tab that says security center now once you go into security center here is where you can see if you are eligible for the verification so over here it says verification for and my name and you're going to see over here it says ineligible for verification so the first thing we're going to do is on the left hand side in that same menu underneath accounts you're going to go ahead and look for apps and let's open that up now once you are in apps you will have the opportunity to add an app and if you tap on add you go all the way to the bottom and it says create a new app id now if this is blocked or if there's a little lock on it like this one over here and i cannot actually click there then what you need to do is verify your account using your cell phone number or an email address it'll tell you which one it needs so you need to either link one of those contact details and you will be able to then create a new app id now once you click on that you will get to this page over here and it says what do you want your app to do and we're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says other and we're going to select that and tap on next the next thing you want to do on this page over here is select an app type and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select business and these steps are essential so make sure that you follow them exactly this way whether you are creating an app for any reason this is the best way to do so so you're going to add an app name over here and we're going to do an app 505 the name is irrelevant it really doesn't make a difference for our process we're going to go ahead now and tap on create app you're going to verify this with your password and then you're going to tap on submit right over here on this page you are going to ignore everything that is here we're going to go up to the toolbar on the left hand side and you can see here there's an item that says app settings we're going to open that up and we're going to tap on basic so right over here you will see that you will need to enter a privacy policy url and then also the terms of service url and this is for your app now there are many platforms out there that will allow you to generate a privacy policy as well as a terms of service but what we're going to do is we're going to tap on app review and we're going to go to requests so once you are in request this page over here it says clearly that you don't have a current request and underneath that there's a blue button it says request permissions or features we're going to tap on that over there on this page you will see a search bar at the top and you're going to tap in video now this will bring up permissions and features for live video api and it allows your app to manage live videos to pages groups and user timelines we're going to just go over to the right hand side and you can see over here it says request advanced access we're going to tap that and now at the bottom there is a continue request and we're going to tap on that the next thing we want to do is go back to our meta business suit and i have actually opened up this page already and again we're going to go down to settings from your meta business suit and from this page we're going to go down now again on this second toolbar and we're going to look for security center now once you tap on security center you will be back in that page where you can see if you're eligible for verification you can see now that it says eligible for verification and there is a start verification over here there are a few things that you need to know when wanting to 
verify this account. So, of course, you need to verify your business details. You need a registered business for this process. You also need to confirm your connection and then you need to upload the appropriate documents to verify your account. You're going to tap on get started and over here you can select your country and then tap on next. And right over here, you will enter your business information, such as the name, street address, the state, province or region, postal code, a telephone number, the website URL, and then your tax identification, which is optional at this point. And then you're going to tap on next and you'll have to put in a few other details. And then this process, once all this is put in, in the process to get verified can take up to three days it may take longer but you will get an email when your request has been processed and there we go folks if you would like to verify your facebook manager account this is the way to do it you can go now back into the apps page over here and once your business is registered and only after you have gotten that email confirming that this has been registered, can you remove this app? Because really there's no point of having this app if you don't want it. We just created it so that we can be eligible for the verification process. So once it has been verified, you can go ahead and tap on remove and you can remove this app over here and you won't have anything like this on your account. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video, folks. Happy verifying. Bye-bye.